everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a makeup to clutter. Basically, I haven't worn makeup in a really, really long time except for today. Um, coming back filming for my channel again. So there was a lot of stuff that was kind of just sitting there being old and I kind of have attachment issues <laughs> with things. I just don't like throwing out stuff. Um, not a hoarder, I promise, but I just, it was time. Like a lot of this stuff just needed to go and I'm really trying to work through my makeup collection, but this stuff is like kind of old or it's just things that doesn't really work well for me, for me anymore. So it's just time to go. So if you're interested in seeing all of the different products that I have decluttered, then let's jump into the video. That didn't work out very well. Let's jump into the video. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so if you've been around my channel for a little while, then you probably recognize this little basket. Um, I use this for all of my videos like this. So I have a ton of different makeup products in here. So I'm just going to kind of like pull out and um, we'll, we'll just do it that way. Yeah, so there's no rhyme or reason to this. And I'll kind of explain why I'm getting rid of these specific products. Um, Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. I don't know, I just feel weird about this for some reason. So first off, I have the e.l.f., um, what is this, concealer. So it's this little concealer right here. And I know that there was kind of com some controversy over this product. Some people really, really loved it. Other people, it was like a greasy mess on them. Um, I had a lot of like creasing under the eyes and stuff like that. I loved this concealer, but it is old it is so old and I just need to get rid of it and potentially get a new one I will say that their range of colors suck like it's not the best range um at least not that I've seen so far um but I also use this a lot but it's just time for it to go so keeping with the concealer game I also have this um, revolution makeup conceal and define so it's this concealer right here I kind of went back and forth with this guy because it does have really really great coverage it's comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape concealer if you're looking for something drugstore but this bitch burned my eyes like I'm not gonna lie about it it really did irritate my eyes a lot of the time so for me, that's a no-go. Anytime I'm using a product and it has like that burning sensation, that to me indicates that the chemicals are not mixing well with my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one out. If you don't experience that with this concealer, that's great. But for me, it was a hot mess in terms of the coverage and how good the product it a good product. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa how good of a product it is it is very good but it just didn't work because it was burning my eyes and that's not cool all right what else do i have in here so <laughs> this is so old oh my gosh so i have the tarte shape tape concealer in here i love this concealer so much um but this guy is like i got it when it first came out and this is the same tube so just think about that for a minute. That's kind of gross. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but up top, it's turning orange. So come on, focus, hello. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but there's a little bit of like an orange tint up top, and you can see that I've like scraped the barrel here. But it's time for this baby to go. Um, <laughs> it's just too old to keep going. I'm sure, ooh, oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that I still have like some left. Yeah, so see it's like still picking up a little bit on the doe foot, but it's just time. It's time to say goodbye to the Tarte Shape Tape so that I can convince myself to buy another one because it's so damn expensive. And then I also have Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced, which this one um, I did use quite a bit so you can see if my camera will autofocus. Um, there's a little bit of a scrape line right here. And this one, you know, this color is like super, super fair because I believe this was one of those products that my mom gave to me and it was like in the winter time and we both end up getting super fair. But this one needs to go because it's really just not that good. 
Um, it always creases on me and it's really tacky and sticky. So what I often find is that whenever I go in with a translucent powder or a banana powder, it just kind of, the powder will like stick to it because it's so sticky and it's not very good. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to this one. It's also old. Um, I don't think it's that old, but it's old enough to where I can justify getting rid of it because I really, I never reach for that product. So it's just not that good. All right, let's see what else we got going on in here. Oh my God. Uh, I hate to do this, but I have to because it's just not good anymore. But I am getting rid of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is what it looks like. So you can tell that I did use it a lot. So it's all the way down here, but it just doesn't work for my skin anymore. It's super patchy on me. I'm not sure if it's because it's old or if my skin just isn't mixing with the, the formula anymore. But again, it really clings to my dry patches a lot. And this was the foundation that I actually wore on my wedding day. So I did love it for a period of time, but every single time that I've gone back to it over the past like six months, it's been a no go. So I'm getting rid of this, even though I know it's expensive and it's hard to justify um, because of the price point, but it just doesn't work anymore. And so I don't want to just sitting in my drawer, taking up space whenever it's not something that I ever reach for because it just doesn't work for me anymore. Um, and then, oh my God, these are so old. I have two of the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay foundations. One of my favorite foundations of all time. I definitely know that I will be repurchasing these at some point. Um, probably whatever my stash gets a little bit low for foundations, but right now I'm going pretty strong. But these guys are really, really great if you have problematic skin because the coverage is full. You do not need a lot and they have healing properties. <clears throat> so the clay within the foundation acts as a healing property for um, acne that you have. So whenever you take it off and you clean your face really well, your skin actually looks better. That's the experience that I've had with these foundations every single time that I use them, but these are old as dirt. So it's time for me to throw them out <laughs> as painful as it is. And then I have this little guy, which I think I did like a face product declutter a while ago. And for some reason I rationalized keeping this foundation, even though it's shit, it's not good. So this is the NYX total control drop foundation. Now I have seen some of my friends here on YouTube who like this foundation. I do not, we have never been friends. Um, I've even tried mixing this in with other foundations to kind of lighten it up if it's too dark for me. No, it just ruins that foundation. It's not good. I don't even know what it is, honestly. It's just weird. And I kind of just had it sitting in my drawer accumulating dust because I haven't reached for this in a hot minute. And it's just, it's just not good. Um, that's, that's all I can say. It's just streaky and dry and oily at the same time. And it, and it does something weird if you mix it with other foundations. It's like it separates the other foundation. It's just a hot mess. So I don't recommend it. If you love it, great. I'm so happy that you found an affordable foundation. But for me, no, it's it's not happening. All right. So I also have two concealers in here. This one is a Meat Makeup Diamond Heart. It's a base primer and it's illuminating. So I have had this bad boy for a hot minute, but it's time to go because it's old. This one I really, really do like though. I honestly, I got this in like an Ipsy bag, which <laughs> if you've been around my channel for years and years and you know how old this thing is. Um, but it's just, it's a really, really great primer. I loved it. It was illuminating, so it made your skin look healthy under your foundation, which is always a good thing, but it's just old. So that's the reason why I'm getting rid of it. Not that it's not good. Um, same thing with this primer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, and I actually had this in my 2018, what is that called? Project Pan. 
and I was shocked that I didn't go through this because I was obsessed with it for pretty much all of 2018. It was one of my ride or die um, primers, but it's just old again. So, and I know that drugstore products can tend to kind of like get a little bit grotier as time goes on. So I'm just getting rid of this, not because it's good, not good because it is good, but because it's just old. Um, what else do we have in here? I'm going to stick with face for a little bit longer. So I have the NYX HD finishing powder, <coughs> which I've had in my drawer for years. And honestly, I just don't like this powder. It's really, it clings to a lot of my dry spots. Um, it doesn't really work super well for my under eyes. Every single time I use it for my under eye area, it ends up making my concealers crepey and creasy, which the concealers that I currently have are really good. And I don't do that with my other powders. So this one, it's just time to say goodbye because they're just not that good. <laughs> and then I have two e.l.f. cream blushes. Um, this one is in the shade Rose Royalty and this one is in Peach Perfection. Um, they're just the little like cream blushes, honestly. Like I used these for a while and then they just they just weren't good because I used other cream blushes or just other blushes in general and these just don't stay on the face for very long. So I would like put on blush and I could barely see it because the tint is really fair. And what I can say is that if you are kind of like a no makeup kind of person but you just have a little bit of color on your cheeks and you enjoy that, then these would be really great for you. But for me, it's like the only time that I add a product when I'm not wearing makeup is a lip gloss and mascara. Literally everything else I don't touch. Um, so it's not like I'm the kind of person who would use these on a bare face. So they just don't show up and they're really, really old too. So you see, they don't, they don't smell like anything, which is a good thing. So they don't have like major bacteria, but I just don't use them. So it's time to declutter them. And then I have three different mascaras, which um, this one right here is Pacifica Aquarium Gaze. This one is just not my favorite mascara. Um, I thought that I would kind of enjoy the brush, but it is synthetic. It's like the rubber brush. And <clears throat> I've never been a huge fan of that. And then I also have the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. That's just really old. And I'm also not a huge fan of the brush. It's like that weird thing to wear you twist the cap and then it becomes shorter and then you untwist it and it elongates. So it just wasn't that good. But this mascara right here, which is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, I probably will end up repurchasing this, but this is really old, so it's time for it to go. Just <clears throat> my eyes don't get irritated, but it's really, really good. My voice is going out. Okay, we're almost done. So what should I do next? I'll stick with eyes. <coughs> so in my top drawer, I had random eyeshadows that I don't think I've ever used before because they're kind of just like those junk shadows. I'm going to take a little cough break there because <clears throat> my voice is like really choppy from my allergies, which I don't even really have allergies, but the pollen has been insane this time of year. So <clears throat> anyways, I have a bunch of random eyeshadows that I've never really touched before and they're really, really old. So like this one by NYX, <clears throat> it's a little trio. See, I can't even get it open. Maybe that's why I never used it. Oh, because I literally have never opened it. That's why. But <clears throat> it's these three little shadows and <clears throat> Knowing my experience with NYX and their eyeshadows, it is either a really, really great hit or a total miss. And honestly, this came in an Ipsy bag and I just haven't used it. And they're really, really old and my eyes are sensitive. It's like the most sensitive part, <clears throat> part of my face. Oh my God, voice, work with me. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that out. And then I have a couple other shadows some loose shadows. This one's by Marsk, which <clears throat> kind of just like a bronzy shade. Autofocus, come on. 
And so that one, haven't ever used. It's just like really old. This one is by Jessie's Girl and it's a um, in the shade brown sugar. It's a matte and it's a loose shadow. Not my kind of style. Let me see, there it goes. So that one's really old too. I'm gonna be throwing that one out. And then I have uh, Hikari. And this is like a pressed pigment in the shade Oh my god, it's like all falling apart in the shade of Meek. <coughs> so this one just doesn't really work well on the eyes. If you can tell, it's like falling out already in there. And so my experience with it is that it falls down onto my under eye area. And it's just not very good. <coughs> I had to take another break because my throat is just so bad right now. Okay. So I have three more. This one's by Model Co. And it's like a little tri-group thing. I don't know. And it's just cream shadows. They're not good. And they're really old too. And then I have a little Tiny Baby Books of Eyeshadow. In the shade Mink Magnet. Which, this is just a giant pain in the butt to like get out of the pan. It's so, so small. And I'm just not a huge fan of this particular shadow by them. And then I have a random wet and wild thing. Oh, it's a glitter single for face or body. And it's not good, guys. It's not good at all. So that one's getting rid of. And then the last, I have lip products. If I can freaking get through this. I have a Model Co. lip liner. And it's just like kind of a neutral shade. But this one's really, really old. And it's starting to develop like... <clears throat> crystals on it because it's that old wow that's disgusting and then i have an urban decay vice special effects a lip gloss this one i wore one time this past season and it's just not my favorite thing it's kind of chunky and it tends to bleed a little bit so i'm just going to go ahead and toss that out and then i have two color pop ultra matte lipsticks one is in the shade lax the other is bad habit and these have just gotten so old that they are chunky on the lips and they just don't work very well. So I'm going to go ahead and toss those out as well. So that is the completion of this declutter video. I'm so glad that I was able to kind of get through the very last part of it. My voice is just like so dry and scratchy right now. Um, I haven't done this much talking in a while. <laughs> So I hope that you had fun and enjoyed this video. Let me know what products you are decluttering from your collection right now if you're doing that in a way it's kind of like spring cleaning. So it's just time for me to say goodbye to these products because they're just old or they're not working for me anymore. And everything that I have left in my collection, I'm really, really happy and satisfied with. So I'm just going to focus on those products and making sure that I work through them so that I'm not wasting full size products by just not using them because I have too much in my collection. So I hope that you had fun and I will see you in my next video. Bye.